Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make a delicious orange ice cream. So this is really fast and easy to make. There are two ways to make ice cream. One has an egg custard base. We're not going to do that today. Today we're just going to stir like mainly cream and orange juice together. So don't need a stove, don't need anything, just a bowl. So you will need two cups, which is 480 milliliters of freshly squeezed orange juice. Now you can use whatever uh, type of oranges you like. Just for reference, I'm using a mandarin orange and to get about two cups, I'm using almost three pounds, which is 1.4 kilograms of oranges. So buy lots. <laughs> But of course, I mean, it depends on the orange, how much juice you get. So I'm just cutting my oranges in half. And then if you, I'm doing mine by hand, there is machines that will uh, make fast and easy work of squeezing your oranges. And I do have a strainer here to get rid of all the pulp. So I've got so you didn't have to watch me do it all. I have almost two cups there, 480 milliliters. And if you like, you could add a little bit of orange zest to, uh, to this. Okay, let's see how much. Got, got enough there. Okay, that's the hard part. <laughs> Takes a little bit of time. As you can see, I got a lot of oranges there. So I'm just gonna put this in a large bowl. It smells very citrusy in here. And then I'm, I'm going to add just one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I find a little bit of lemon juice just kind of almost enhances the flavor of the orange juice. And then, now you don't have to, you know, if you've watched the videos, you know I love vanilla extract. I actually like a little bit of vanilla, one teaspoon, four grams of pure vanilla extract. Like I said, you don't have to, you can leave it out. And just, so now, now all we need is some cream. I'm using for this one and a half cups, which is 360 milliliters of heavy cream or heavy whipping cream, and that's cream with about a 35 to 40 percent butterfat content. And then I'm just using a half a cup, 120 milliliters of half and half cream. You, if, like some people say they have a hard time finding half and half, if you do, just instead of using that, just put another half a cup, 120 milliliters of heavy cream. So all together using two cups. So I'm just going to add, it's not very difficult. <laughs> this is perfect on a hot summer's day. I mean, it really is refreshing. It's a little bit of a grainy texture to it, which I like and very rich, obviously, with all that cream. And then to sweeten it, I'm adding about a half a cup, 100 grams of granulated white sugar. Now that, you know, Kind of use that as a guide because you know depending on how sweet your orange juice is you know you could use less use more so what i i mean you could even add a little less but what i like to do at this point because you never know with fruit i like to just taste it oh <laughs> i could just drink that like that um that's perfect for me so that's it now what we need to do is we need to chill this. So just cover in plastic wrap and put it in the fridge. What I typically do is, is like let it sit overnight and then that, that will get really cold, you know, but you'll need several hours. So I'm just gonna get this nice and cold and then all we have to do is churn it in our ice cream machine. So now we are ready to churn our ice cream my, uh, this has been chilling overnight, so it's nice and cold. Now, for your ice cream machine, there is all different types, so you must read your manual. The type I'm using is this base here. 
I just put it into the freezer and get it really nice and cold. So normally I let that sit in the freezer overnight. So this is very simple. I just pour this in here. And typically with the most ice cream machines, you want to fill them up at least half full with your ice cream for the, in order for them to really work. And then just put like that. And then I'm going to just turn it on and let it do its thing. Normally it takes with my machine about 25, 30 minutes. So when we come back, I will show you our ice cream. So now it's been about a half hour and my base has kind of warmed up so really there's no sense keep churning it but let's just check it it's still like a little soft so what i'm going to do is i'm going to transfer it to a container and put it into the freezer for, to, for maybe you know an hour or so until it gets a little more firm and then when we come back we will try some I let the orange ice cream chill in the freezer about two hours and as you can see it's pretty firm. If you let this chill like say overnight it will get really really hard and so then what you might want to do is take out the ice cream put it in the fridge for you know maybe 15 minutes before you serve it to let it get a little soft. Very good. It's creamy. It's just got a, a little bit of graininess to it. Very nice orange flavor. You know, what I like is it has that little bit of vanilla extract. It kind of makes this orange ice cream taste like an orange Julius, if you've ever been to that store. This is really good on its own. I can't stop eating it. Um, or you could have it with like fresh strawberries, raspberries, some peaches, or other types of fruit. So you must try this. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.